let's talk about AI, NFX is, is moving, is acting on sure. what's happening all around us here in San Francisco, Silicon Valley. How are you doing it from an investment standpoint? Of course. So one question I have and that I've been asking is what does it mean? People are like, are you investing in AI? I'm like, yes, but what is an AI company in that every company kind of needs to be an AI company well, now? Well, people differentiate, though, between AI native and AI adjacent. It's Correct. one way of splitting it up. Correct. So for you, what is the priority or what is the focus there? So two different answers. One is it feels similar to crypto. So as mentioned, I was spending most of my time in crypto. And when we looked at a crypto company, we always said, what is this company actually? Is it a marketplaces company? Is it a fintech company? Is it a media company for which crypto is the rails that enables it to do something that couldn't be done before? And we're viewing AI companies similarly, which is what is this actually? Is it a legal tech company? Is it a fintech company? Is it a marketplace company for which they are using AI to do something that hasn't been done before? So that's one lens. And the second lens is this leapfrogging piece, which I will shamelessly show that I wrote about recently, which is the concept that AI will move into industries that were or are underserved by SaaS. Okay. Give me an example, a tangible example. The legal industry, for instance. Okay. Uh, we, we do not uh, pay CEO Josh Browder, has been on the show and talked about you know, kind of a similar use case. Your office is in Hayes Valley. We try to make this show global, but what I keep hearing is that everything that's happening in AI is happening here. And we had Gary Tan of Y Combinator on the show two days ago, and he called Hayes Valley Cerebral Valley because to his mind, all of the talent that are working on LLMs and foundation models and the VCs backing them, you can find in several isolated blocks of that neighborhood. Do you recognize that? Do you agree with that statement? I very much agree with that statement. I didn't know we were going to be talking about Hayes Valley in San Francisco, but I'm very happy to. So, well, what, what is it a thing? You know, for the, for the global audience, why are we talking about this tiny neighborhood in San Francisco, which is a tiny city geographically? Tiny city. Yeah, it's a, it's a tiny neighborhood in a tiny city. So I joined the firm about three years ago, and our office was downtown, so near where we are right now. And with all due respect, we're currently on the Embarcadero, which is a beautiful part of downtown. We were in a less beautiful part of downtown. And I felt very strongly that we had to move the office into a more residential area in the heart of the city because I felt that for the first time, people that were in San Francisco were choosing to be here because they wanted to be here versus they had to be here. And this and is post-pandemic? This was January 2021. Okay. But that you saw actually the residential areas coming to life in ways that they weren't before. So we spent a lot of time looking for commercial real estate in a residential neighborhood, which is hard to find because of infrastructural reasons in San Francisco. And we landed in Hayes Valley, which for those who don't know, San Francisco is like a hand and Hayes Valley is right in the center of the hand. We're currently over here, like along the water. And kind of by luck, I like to think that maybe we willed it into existence in some way. Hayes Valley is now known as Cerebral Valley, as you mentioned which is a comment on all of the AI companies and all of the AI talent that you're seeing. And it really does feel alive in a way that I haven't seen in a neighborhood in San Francisco. And but I've been here for 10 years. In real terms, a lot of people that watch Bloomberg Technology are founders, early stage or otherwise. They are investors and VCs. They're just people that enjoy technology. And the way that Gary Tan put it is that if you go to, any, I'm not going to name my favorite, but if you go to any cafe in Hayes Valley. Well, now you have to tell me your favorite. Well, after the show that you, you can literally bump into a brilliant mind in the field of AI. Is it literally as granular as that? It is literally as granular as that. So you walk around Hayes Valley and you bump into people that are working on interesting things. Like last week, there's a little green area in the center of the center of the neighborhood. And I ran into someone who I knew from the crypto world who was speaking with this AI founder. And then also, like, you'll walk around and literally, like how they talked about in the 90s, you'll see garage doors open and people on their computers. And you'll literally see on the telephone polls flyers for AI happy hours, AI hackathons. Very quickly, are you seeing the same energy in crypto, which is your background, the same entrepreneurship and, and energy? The energy is still there. However, there is this classification of person that my partner James Courier calls fruit flies. <laughs> so the, fruit flies. The people who, you know, fly around to the sweetest thing. And I think some of those fruit flies have gone from crypto to AI. To the Hayes Valley comment, though, my partner James Courier, who moved here 
in the 90s also talks about how Silicon Valley and what brought him here was the, creative, the creator culture. And how when you came here, anyone you would bump into at a cafe or on the street was building something and that was really exciting. And then he talks about how it transitioned into the money culture. And how everyone you talked to was telling you about their Tesla or Lamborghini or whatever. And it feels like for the first time, he said in the past 30 years, it, we're back at that creator culture feeling in specifically Hayes Valley. And that's nice to feel.